What is happening good people of YouTube and welcome to the Overly Gaming Project. Today's video we are back in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. This is episode number 31. All right, in the last episode, you saw it, I saw it, everybody saw it. We don't need to talk about it. We lost. We didn't just lose. We lost pretty bad. And we slipped down the rankings. And I don't know what we're going to do. Even if we win this tournament and this championship, I don't know if it's going to be enough to propel us back to the top of the leaderboard. And all the other fishermen are making fun of us. And it hurts. It hurts a lot. Might need some counseling. Might need medication. I don't know. Nothing wrong with that. Let's move on, shall we? All right, we are at the Greater London Championship Grand Union in Great Britain. Oh, good I might throw another shrimp on the Bobby. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's two rounds, 20 minutes each. Like clouds, we are in the morning. So let's go ahead into London. We'll have tea time. I want to catch ourselves some big damn fish. All right, taking a look at some of the baits that we are using today. We have on line number one, the tiger nuts. <laughs> oh, sorry. And then we have line number two, the Nutrien bottom baits. And line number three, the Banafi. Now all these are on dark matter rigs. I don't know why. I'm not really sure what's at the bottom of the water here at Grand Union, but let's go ahead and find out. All right, taking a look at the map, we are gonna go to our favorite spot here in Grand Union, all the way to the right and then up one. And that's where we're starting. Hi there, and welcome to the next event on the tour. With prize money and tour points up for grabs, there's a lot at stake for each of our competitors. So let's take a look at the rules ahead of today's competition. All right, the rules are simple. It's the total weight of all the big fat carp that you catch. Let's go ahead and throw these lines in the water and see if we can't kick everybody's ass and smack them in the face. All right, there we are, 24th spot, that sucks. I swear, Sam Cheatham's in 23rd. Guess he's been cheating him. Ho <laughs> ho! And there is Sam Childs in 7th. Ah, he's still acting like a child. Because he's making fun of us. Being real immature about it too. We don't like it. Alright, round 1 is starting. 3, 2, 1. Let's get to the water. Alright, we're going to walk right down here to this life preserver. That way, in case we fall in, we can save ourselves. All right, here is a peg we have claimed. Got our rods, got our tackle, our bucket, life preserver. Got leaves in our way, making everything real weird like. All right, let's go ahead and cast out line number one. And we're gonna take line number one and throw it all the way over to that bridge. Oh, 100% cast strength. All right. Boop, bloop. Oh, look at that. Let's put the rod down. All right, and rod number two, we are gonna cast that right towards the front of this boat. All right, boop, bloop, let's put the rod down. And rod number three, the Banafi, we're gonna to toss this right over here between these boats. Here we go. Bloop, toss on over there. All right, and now we wait. All of our rods are in the water, and hopefully we can start catching some big, fat fish. You know, one time I caught a fish that was so fat. And when it took its pants to the cleaners, the cleaner says, sorry, we don't do curtains. <laughs> All right, no takers on any of these rods. And I hope we don't have the same experience that we had before. Oh boy, 17 minutes left. And now's a good time to read a book or look at your phone, maybe call a friend. If you have an iPad, you can watch Netflix or a movie. That's too bad we didn't bring a phone. We didn't bring an iPad or any Netflix or a movie. We're just standing here, staring at the water. And we are hoping that we don't get skunked here like we did in the last episode. That was pretty embarrassing. And we're going to give this about another minute and a half. Oh, rod number one going crazy. Here we go. It's the tiger nuts. <laughs> Sorry. All right, start reeling in the slack. Reeling it in, raising up the drag. Oh, bam, fish on, fish on. That is a fish, and it's moving kind of slow. It's probably a pretty fat fish. How fat is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. This fish is so fat that when it wears a yellow raincoat, people yell taxi. <laughs> oh. oh, look at it. Oh, man, is that even a carp? Gosh, if this is one of those stupid tench or a bream, you know what we got to do? We are going to have to punch this thing right in the face. Now look, I'm sorry if you're an animal advocate 
or an animal activist, I'm sorry. We're punching it in the face. It's not going to hurt the fish. Fish don't have feelings in their faces. I don't think so. Maybe they do. Who knows? If they do, leave it in the comments down below. Oh boy, we are f struggling to get this fish in here. Come on, fish. All right, we're going to try and yank it up out of the water. It's so close to the shore. If we had our net, we could just reach over and pull it in. Oh, here it comes. Oh, that's a carp. Looks like a mirror carp. It's grayish. I don't know. Maybe it's a common carp. It's a Kia. What the hell's a Kia? I don't even know what a Kia is. Does it count? I mean, it looks like a carp. I don't know. Let's put it in the bucket. Wow, a trophy catch. 28 pounds and 4 ounces. We are on the board with a Kia. Not the kind of Kia that you drive around in. It's the kind of Kia that you catch with your fishing pole. All right, rod number one. We're going to cast this bad boy right back to where that was. I can't believe it. Another trophy catch. Seems like every episode we are catching a fish that's a trophy fish and we don't even know what the hell it is. All right, here we go. Rod number one back out in the water. And there is rod number two and rod number three. Just still sitting there. None of the fish paying any attention to it. They're just sad, soaking in the water. All right, rod number one back out there. And so far, we have slipped down to eighth place just like that. 13 minutes left here in the tournament. Rod number two, rod number three, not doing anything. And we might have to change up our strategy, change up the baits or something. Now, I feel like those are good spots for carp. Maybe they're not. Who the hell knows? Here's what we're going to do. We are going to grab rod number two, and we're going to move it. All right, rod number two. We're going to change up our strategy, and we're going to cast it right over towards these lily pads. Here we go. Flip it on out there. Oh, God, it fell right in front of us. That's not going to help. All right, obviously that plant is in our way, so we're going to turn this way. We're going to flip it right over here. Here we go, right towards that little boat. Bloop, there we go. Sit it on down. All right, looking for some bubbles and some activity in the water. I don't really see much. All right, we're going to give this until about 10 minutes left to go. We might move spots here. We cannot afford to get skunked and come in last place like we did in the last episode. All right, 11 minutes left. Rod number one has gone quiet. Rod number three, no takers. And rod number two is still sitting there. Oh, rod number one going crazy here on the tiger nuts. Let's go ahead and pick it up, start reeling in the slack. Here we go. Ba bam Oh, fish on. Fish is on again. This is fish number two. And just at the time where we needed it, we are in 57th spot here. All right, this feels like a big fish. It is slowly working its way towards us. Hopefully, it's a big carp. I pulled it in. Oh, there it is. You can see it. That is a big fat carp. And thankfully, we have another fish on the line. And we really need this one. We are being beat again. We're behind first place by over 30 pounds of fish. All right, now this fish decided to stick itself in the lily pads. That's fine. We can bring it out. All right, we're just going to let him tire himself out. Go ahead, tire yourself out. And then, bam, lift up the rod tip, start reeling them in. Oh man, stuck in these lily pads. He has got to get out of here. We do not have much time to be playing around here. All right, here we go. Coming a little bit closer. These fish are feisty here at Grand Union. Oh, here he comes. Oh my lord. That is a nice, big, gray, fat carp. It's Fat Joe. Another trophy catch. Holy crap. On the tiger nuts. 34 pounds, 5 ounces. It's Fat Joe. It might be my favorite fish I've ever caught. Fat Joe. Put him in the bucket. Wow, rod number one on these tiger nuts. We've got to cast it right back out where it was. Now, this is like a magical spot for trophy catches. And bam, right back out there. Put the rod down. All right, so far, rod number three, rod number two, not doing anything. All right, rod number two. We're going to cast this right out this way. Just bomb it down the stream. But bam. All right, rod number three not doing anything for us. And we're going to try and cast it in between these two boats right down there. Here we go. 80% cast strength. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. It's landed right behind the boat. All right, put the rod down. All right, all of our baits are back in the water. I do see a little bit of activity between us and rod number two in the water by the boat. We are in 13 spots, 62 pounds, 9 ounces of fish. And that's only on two fish. Imagine what it would be like if we caught three more. I right, five minutes left to go here in the tournament. I kind of feel like we should be changing up our baits here. These aren't working. All right, rod number three. We are changing it up. That's right. We're going to throw this. Oh, rod number two is going crazy. 
Let's go ahead and get rod number three out there. And then we'll pick up rod number two. Here we go. We're tossing it out there. We put on an imitation snail. I don't know what that's going to do. All right, rod number two. Going crazy. The new tree bottom baits. Start reeling in the slack. Oh, bam. Fish on. Fish on. And this does not seem to be a very big fish. Let's go ahead and raise up that drag a little bit. It's about 35. Oh, now this fish is pulling. Oh boy, it does seem like a big fish. Hopefully it is a big carp. If it can make its way to the surface here, that would be ideal. Oh, that's a carp. I can see it now. Not that big, but it sure is pretty looking. All right, he is feisty. He's really pissed. I mean, he's swimming along, looking at the boats, having a good old day. He said, hey, what the hell is this? It looks pretty yummy. Goes to bite it, and bam, hook in his face. And I am sorry, Mr. Fish, but I'm gonna need you to get in my bucket. You can hang out with Fat Joe and the Kia, and then when we're all done, we'll weigh you and put you back. And that hole in your face will heal. And you'll have a little battle scar. You can tell all your little fat fish friends. Oh, here he comes. All right, looks like a common carp. I don't know, it's a nice pretty color. It's a mirror carp, 26 pounds. Put him in the bucket. Oh, rod number one going crazy here on the Tiger Nuts. We are in second place, two minutes left to go. Reeling in the slack. Oh, bam, fish on. All right, fish is on. Now this seems like a bit of a smaller fish here, if it's a carp. It's moving pretty quickly, and it's uh, ran right in those lily pads. I'll tell you, oh, it's a carp. I can see it, it looks like a mirror carp. And we have got a minute and 45 seconds to pull this bad boy in. We are now in third place, and this is the carp that could put us into first place. Not a huge carp, but it's going to do. Oh, here we go. One minute, 30 seconds left, and we're getting close. We've fallen down into fourth spot, now fifth spot. And we've got to keep the pressure on this fish so he doesn't pop off. Right, this fish is running. He's running like Forrest Gump. For those of you who don't know, Forrest Gump is a movie. Had Tom Hanks in it. That's pretty good. All right, here he comes. Oh man, that's a nice size fish too. A little bit of a pinkish gold color. It's a mere carp, 31 pounds on the tiger nuts. <laughs> uh, sorry, put him in the bucket. Oh, no doubt that is going to put us into first place. And we are switching up to rod number two here. Got 30 seconds left. We're just going to plop this bad boy right out here. Bloop. All right, probably not going to do anything. 17 seconds left, but we are in first place by 24 pounds and hopefully in the next 10 seconds nobody catches a 24 pound fish all right three two one that is it the round is over 120 pounds of fish we caught kia and fat joe two trophy catches to start out this round whoo i was a little nervous there but we are back all right round number two getting ready to start three two one all right, let's go. This time, we are going to walk this way. And we're going to come through this gate. Oh boy, can we get through the gate? We can't get through the gate. Oh my god, we're stuck. I don't know what we're going to do. All right, we're just going to keep walking down this way then. That's fine. But we are going to go a little bit further. All right, here we are. We have claimed this peg right here. Got the same baits we're using. And we are going to try sort of the same thing. All right, rod number one. Let's cast it right under that bridge. Bam. All right, put the rod down. All right, rod number two, the Nutrine bottom baits. And we are gonna cast that right here in these lily pads. Bloop, there we go. And rod number three, the imitation snail. I'm not even sure if this is gonna work, but let's cast it right in front of this boat. Here we go, fling it on over there. Bloop. All right, all the rods are in the water. And we're just standing here. And now is the perfect time to read a book. Look at your phone. Do something. I don't know. Oh, rod number one going crazy. And that is awesome. Here we go. Let's pick it up. All right, start reeling in the slack. You know what to do. Oh, bam, fish on. Fish on. Now this fish is going a little bit quicker than a carp should. I don't know if this is going to be a carp. Let's go ahead and bring it in. It looks like a carp, just a smaller version. Oh, he's cute. Look at him. We bring him up. We might kiss his face. That's how cute he is. I'm not sure if you think this fish is cute. Leave it in the comments down below. Oh man, he is right here in front of us and he is refusing to come in. He is being super stubborn. Oh my god, line number two going crazy. This is it. This is our round right here. I've got a good feeling. We just need to fight these fish. 
Keep the pressure on. Tire mount. Oh, here he comes. Oh, that's a nice sized fish. Looks like another mirror carp. 19 pounds, 8 ounces on the tiger nuts. Put them in the bucket. Line number two going crazy. Reel in the slack. And bam! Oh, fish on. Fish on. That's another small carp. But it's all right. Quantity over quality is the name of the game right now. We are in first place. 139 pounds of fish. Dan Merle is in second place. Nobody cares about him. And Anthony James in third place. I mean, he's got two first names. They don't even count. Oh, man. This fish is fighting hard. Oh, and here he comes. All right, that's a nice sized carp. Looks like another mirror carp. And that is a leather carp on the nutrient bottom baits. 19 pounds, put them in a the bucket. All right, here we go. Casting these rods back out there. And I do see some bubbles right there. Let's go ahead and fling this one right after where those bubbles were. All right, now the tiger nuts. We've been having good luck underneath this bridge. Are we gonna cast this right back out underneath the bridge? Here we go, 80% cast strength. Can we make it into the water without going on to the bridge? There we go, great cast. Put the rod down. All right, well, our rods are still sitting here. No takers. Got 14 minutes left to go. We're only in first place by 18 pounds. I tell you, this is getting tough. You know, we thought we were all dominant here on the carp tour. The amateur tour was a piece of cake and so far, the Pro Tour has been a piece of cake too until the last tournament and this tournament, and it has gotten a lot tougher. This competition is fierce, but it's not too fierce that it's gonna sway us and make us give up, because we don't give up. If there's one thing that my mama taught me and my pappy taught me, it's don't give up. I think that's what they said. Sometimes, I don't know, they gave up, I gave up. Everybody gives up, fine, don't judge. But before they gave up, they told me not to give up. If that makes sense, leave it in the comments down below. And now is the perfect time to ask yourself the question of the day. Are you subscribed to the Overly Gaming Project? And if the answer is no, stop what you're doing right now. Go grab a glass of cold water and throw it in your own face. Ah! And then subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. Oh, rod number one going crazy. I'm gonna pick it up while I tell you to hit the like button and comment down below. It doesn't even matter what you say, bam! Fish on. All right, the fish is on. He's coming through the lily pads, that's fine. Come on through the lily pads. Take the scenic route into the bucket. Pass all your friends that are hiding out in the lily pads. Say goodbye to them, because you're going for a trip into the bucket. That's right, look at this fish. That's a nice car. Kind of small, but that's all right. Size doesn't matter, or does it? I don't know, leave in the comments down below. Oh man, this fish another stubborn fish. Maybe it's a stubborn carp. Not sure if that's even the type of carp. It might be. If it is, we have caught it right here at Grand Union. Right, here we go, pull him up. Stop fighting, oh here he comes. Oh wow, that is a gray scaly carp. It might be a leather carp. Let's see, it's a common carp. 28 pounds, one ounce, and that is gonna push us further into first place. Let's put him in the bucket. Well, I gotta tell you, if I had to pick one favorite rod today in this tournament, it's the Tiger Nuts. I mean, these Tiger Nuts are doing absolute wonders for us, and we're gonna cast that right back under the bridge. Look at that, great cast. All right, putting the rod down, rod number two and rod number three not getting any love here, especially rod number three, the snail. All right, snails not getting any love here, so we have changed this to the scent from hell. And we're gonna toss this right back over there. Let's put it down. Not sure why these carp are so picky with the snail. I mean, what the hell do snails ever do to anybody to hurt them? Nothing, they're harmless. They're cute. I mean, sometimes, especially when we're over in France, we can eat them, cook them up in a little garlic butter. That's fine, right after you fish with them. Nine minutes and 40 seconds left here. Our rods are out there. And now is a great time to read a book. If you don't have a book, we can just stare down at our tackle. We can wonder. What the hell's in there? Maybe it's a good time to take a look at our cool sunglasses and all the sponsors on our jersey. The Carp Bible, which we help write, by the way. You can take a gaze at all the buildings that are around here. It's a highly industrial area here. Lots of construction equipment, some silos. Off in the distance, you can see some sort of power plant, no doubt contributing to the destruction of the environment. But that's fine. Over in the distance there, there's a brick building. Could be a schoolhouse, might be an office building. Perhaps 
It's a prison. Who knows? Nobody knows. You don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. Maybe there's an escaped convict hiding over in these bushes. I don't know. Maybe he'll come out and attack us, try and steal our car. But that's not going to happen. And rod number three, just like that, going crazy. It's a send from hell. Oh, here we go. Reeling in the slack. Bam! All oh, fish on. Raising up the drag to 35. And this fish, that's a carp. We are doing pretty good today. We're still in first place with 186 pounds of fish. Damien LeBorg is in second place. What kind of name is that? I mean, that's why he's not in first place, because he's got a name like that. What the hell? All right, we are fighting this fish. And it's a feisty one. He's on the edge of the lily pads, coming, working his way through. You know you want to come in the bucket, fishy. Yeah, fishy, fishy. All right, come on. Let's stop playing games here. Let's pull him in. Here he comes. Oh, and that is a nice carp. Probably a mirror carp. Pretty color. And it is 20 pounds, 7 ounces on the scent from hell. Put him in the bucket. All right, rod number three. We are casting this bad boy right back out there. Bloop. Now let's set the rod down. Well, rod number one, rod number two, still sitting there. We are in first place by 37 pounds of fish. Six minutes and 40 seconds left. We are going to have to catch a few more fish if we want to stay in first place. And let's take a moment to look at these boats. The green and the blue down there. Are these house boats? It looks like somebody might be living on these boats. Who could be living there? I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. Boy, this waiting game is fierce. This body of water has absolutely dried up here. I do see some bubbles. Maybe we're just not in the right spots. Oh, there's some activity over there. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We are gonna bring in rod number three. And we're gonna recast rod number three back out to where that activity was. Right this way. All right, rod number two going crazy now. We're gonna go ahead and pick it up. It's on the nutrient bottom baits. Reel in the slack. Bam! Fish on! Fish on another carp. Pretty average sized carp. But again, it's quantity over quality at this point. I'd rather have a lot of 20 pound carp than 340 pound carp. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? Did I do that math right? I don't know. Math isn't my strong suit. You guys know that. I mean, you should know that. I know that. Now you guys know it. If math is not your strong suit, leave it in the comments down below. And if math is your strong suit, leave it in the comments down below. Oh, here we go. We're pulling him in. Bring him in. Oh, that's a look at the belly on that carp. That is a big fat carp. What a nice color here. Wow, a mirror carp. 22 pounds, 10 ounces. And look at that. I mean, this fish is so fat. It got arrested last week for having 10 pounds of crack. Just on his butt. Get it? Butt crack? Oh, -ho. put him in the bucket. Oh, here we go, 100% cast strength. Flipping that bait right out there, but bam. All right, three minutes left to go. Rod number one hasn't had any action in a while. Rod number two, we just had some action there. And there's rod number three, the scent from hell. We've moved it to a new location and the fish are ignoring it. I mean, the scent from hell is getting lonely. It needs some activity. It needs some love. It needs a fish to come along and slurp it up into its big fat face. Now I'll tell you what, we need some more fish here. Two minutes left to go. We're in first place by about 38 pounds of fish, but man, that's too close for comfort here. And I would like to get some more fish. We need one more big fat fish. And people are saying, hey, Overly Gaming Project, why are you so insensitive making fun of fat people? I'm not making fun of fat people. I am making fun of fat fish. There's a difference. Oh, rod number one going crazy. Let's go ahead. It's on the tiger nuts. Hey, swimming under the bridge. Get it back here. Go pulling the drag. Bam! Oh, fish on. Come on back here, fish. You can't go that way. You cannot go underneath the bridge that way. Man, this feels like a nice fish. A minute and 15 seconds left. And hopefully, this is a big, fat fish. How fat is it? I'm glad you asked. This fish is so fat. That when I went to Japan and wore a green bikini and came out of the water, people started yelling, Godzilla! Godzilla! Oh. Alright, I don't know. This doesn't really look like a carp. I really don't know. Oh boy, if our last fish of the day is not a carp, I mean, that is gonna... I'm gonna scream. I might just scream. I might throw my controller. Oh, that does not look like a carp. 
Oh, come on, for God's sakes. Get in the bucket. 30 seconds left. Oh, we need this fish to be a carp, and we need it to count. Oh, here he comes. Oh, it is. It's a carp. It's a big, great carp. A nice, big, fat, great carp. Wow, it's a common carp. 19 pounds. Put him in the bucket, and that is going to solidify our victory. Three, two, one, and that's it. Round number two in the bag. The tournament is over, and we have kicked everybody's ass once again. We are back. 129 pounds of 8 ounces in round two. Wow. We can't be stopped. And there it is. Total weight, 249 pounds, 8 ounces. I mean, Dan Mural, Keith Pickett, Chris Holmes. Get the hell out of here. You can go home. Cry to your mama. And Jerry Bridger in fifth place. He's crying. Look at him. All right, we have moved up at the end of the event, 423 points. We are now in 18th spot, and that is going to be where we end up at the end of the season. We're taking a look. We got $50,000 from the Greater London Championship. Our sponsors paid us out a crap ton of money. We almost have 100,000 followers, and I'd like to get my YouTube channel up to 100,000 followers. So subscribe to the channel right now and help me get to 97,910 followers. Wow, there we are, holding up the $50,000 big cardboard check, and there's our trophy. It's got our name on it. We are the champion of this tournament. That is awesome. Hold it up. Just don't drop it. And that's it. The season has finished. We finished all the available events, and we can now start a brand new season with even more rewards and challenges. Wow, take a look at the end of Season 6 in the Pro Carp Tour Season earnings, $546,694. Man, look at that. Out of five events, we won four of them. And that's awesome. And we are moving up to the Elite Carp Tour. Oh, man, that is really awesome. And you know it, and I know it, and the American people know it. Everybody knows it. We are going to enter the Elite Carp Tour Wow, starting in the next episode. And we're going to start smacking other people around again. There it is, the Elite Carp Tour Season 7. Wow, it has been a great journey here in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour, and we're going to continue it. So stay tuned. In the next episode coming up, it's going to be the Elite Carp Tour, and then we are going to move on to tackle the Predator Tour. Oh, man, what a great series of videos coming stay tuned subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you're notified of all the new content coming out then this is really exciting thanks a lot for the support thanks for supporting the channel and most importantly thanks a lot for letting me be a part of your day it means a lot and we're going to see you right back here in the next video <laughs>